Hi and welcome to Beach Bumbling. Today we're at the Crystal Vallarta all-inclusive resort in Puerto Vallarta. Have you ever booked a resort and you were terrified that you wouldn't like the food or maybe your kid's super picky or your spouse is picky? I know I can be a bit picky from time to time. Today we're going to try to bridge a gap for you. We're going to show you what the food options were while we were there. You want to stick around to the end because we'll show you the theme like that they had there where we thought it was the best food of the week. And we're going to give you two quick tips at the end to help you enjoy your food experience a little bit more on the resort. There's going to be a lot of food in this one, so you might want to put on some stretchy pants. Let's go. First stop's breakfast. You'll find the buffet to the right of the lobby bar there. You can also get coffees there, and there's washrooms here to the right. And there's another entrance from outside into the back. So this is the, uh, where you eat breakfast and lunch. We sat ourselves, but I'm sure if you're having trouble finding a spot, they'd help you if you just flag one of them down. Not very often you get uh, live music at breakfast day. Hot chocolate, oatmeal, coffee, there's scrambled eggs with sausage, there's some fish, bunch of eggs, some cheese omelets, some fried eggs, we'll see that in Got uh, ham, French roll with beans, mixed vegetables, chicken fajita, Tex Mex, that was really good. Those beef tips were tasty too. Got red and green salsa, black beans, fried beans, chilaquiles verde, and chilaquiles rojo, which is red or green, right? Toaster station. Lots of different breads. Hot cakes and French toast. Very fresh. Making some right now. Some toppings. Over here you got fresh fruits and cereals. Yogurts. More fresh fruit. I'm not really sure what that is. We did change the fruit every once in a while. It wasn't always the same every day. And I go back for my toast. We thought they had enough variety. You're not going to go hungry here, especially at breakfast. Just a quick word to the wise, though. You are going to be sharing the restaurant with these little guys every day. A lot of them come in through the ceiling. There are two places you can eat lunch. We mostly ate down by the water, as that's where we were most of the time. I think they're both pretty similar. They may vary a little bit. This is the uh, buffet down by the water. You can eat lunch here. I think you can get breakfast, but it's a bit scaled back. There were some good food and soups in there, though. Oh, poblano soup? I'm all over that. I don't care how hot it is. Though. Nope, I see shrimp looking in there. Salads, fruit, pasta salad. Not sure what that is. Like a plate of something. Meat and cheese. Salad dressings, olives, cauliflower in that one, peas and carrots. Uh, it's in the back one, not real sure. Peas, like a tikama maybe in the middle. All right, here we got some chicken fajitas. I know a guy like those. There's some fish right next to it. It's in there. Some rice. Got some veggies of some kind, I think. Yep. What we got around on the other side here? That is, I have no idea. Let's open that up. We've got some uh, mixed vegetables. Looks like you'd find some things to eat if you're vegetarian here. Some potatoes. We've got bread here. And what the hell is that? I think that's pork and peanut sauce. But if you need to get something to drink. Here, that's not alcoholic. You got some juices and stuff there, some water. Get your glasses there, some ice. 
then let's see what this lady's got going on. Hola. Amber, Amber Jason? Yeah. Well, anything else? Is that? Here's your fixins. And what was in this one? Oh, we got jalapenos, limes, pickles, salsa, breads. And I think we did that set already. So that's what there is to eat here. Looks pretty good for lunch. We're going to scarf something down. Uh, tonight's Mexican night here at the resort, so we are so looking forward to that later. It's in here at lunch. Just uh, walked you through what's on the smorgasbord, and I'll show you what I got. There's some chicken fajitas in there, some salsa that Karen tried. I wish I would have got on camera. She says it's screaming hot. Uh, some rice. What else we got there? Some salad and some poblano soup. And he brought us over some fresh tortillas as well. Karen got a little, a little bit of the same thing, a little bit different. So uh, we watched this channel called For the Road, and uh, one of the tips they had for people, if you don't know if the sauce is too hot or not, I'll let Karen explain it, because uh, she just did it. Um, you just put like a dab here, and try it, instead of dumping it on your food and realizing it's way too freaking hot. Which is what I do, I just go with it, <laughs> and uh, I'm already sweating from it. Yeah, what about the Buono soup? I haven't tried mine yet, what do you think of that? Good stuff. <laughs> Sorry for filming. Yes, she doesn't like being filmed when she's eating. <laughs> so of course I did. But anyway, uh, this is a good good lunch. Kudos. First meal we've had since we've been off the plane, so this is gonna taste great after a five and a half hour flight. Nothing. Okay. Ladle it out. Coffee or tea. So there's no pots. Ladle it into your cup. You what? Ladle it into your cup. So we got some pastas today. Pasta. Oh. Veggies. And another pasta with veggies. Oh, cream of air. Rice, broccoli, and carrots. Potatoes, bread, potatoes, I think. Calamari. Garlic. I'm not sure what this is. So, I'll try some of that. Here's chuleta to serrano. Chuleta? We saw that last night. Yeah, we ordered this. Oh. Well, We've heard the pork well, chops are good. Yep. Some dude named Hug Life <laughs> says these Tyler. Are the, Tyler says these are the bomb. So uh, we met them in. Where are they from again? The clone? No, BC. BC. Yeah. But uh, this was his go to hug life. Got here, let's see. Oh, some fixings, bread, soups. What do we got for soups today? Uh, sopa de Wintenga. I don't know if that's tongue or what, but we'll have a look at it. And then this one is, I'm not sure, but the thing's called sofa to fill fish soup. And I'm not 100% sure what that is, but I'm try it. And then uh, what else we got? We got uh, veggies here. I'm gonna miss unless we send some. I'm not sure what's in here. Ooh, some hot peppers. You know what? I gotta take one. I don't know how to get them out of there, though. Take this. I have an arrow. I'm sure we'll regret that later. Uh, mushrooms and spinach salad, it looks like. And I want a Caesar salad. Oh, they got some pasta salad. Maybe some of that. Keep the flies though, put that shit back down. Is there Caesar salad somewhere? Uh, that, sp that, that spinach thing is the only thing going on. Alright, I'll do some of this. 
What do we got up here? Hamburgesis up here. Oh, what's what's this? Tacos. Hey, there's tacos up here today. What? Tacos, yes, yes, oh yes. Tacos. So. Pork, pibi, pork, Yucatan. What's that one? Uh, pork, Vallarta. Pork and, and chicken. Okay, can I have one of each? One. Uno, uno, uno. Uno, uno, uno. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know that you need. I skipped the middle area. I'm getting it. Oh yes, taco bar. A uno pollo. Mm -hmm. Pork, pork, pork. <laughs> She's getting my last stop. <laughs> what do we got here? Toppings. Mm -hmm. Toppings. We got some jalapenos, pickles, lime. I'll be taking some of that. Some salsas. Um, uh, picante. Yeah. Both. Dos. Me. Pequito. Pequito. Okay. Forte. <laughs> no, I think your three have to go on their own plate. Oh, that's because she couldn't fit them on. <laughs> that's pork, pork, chicken. Oh, yeah. okay. Pork with vegetables, and it looks like, is that uh, pi la piña? Pibi. Pibi. Yeah, de Yucatan. Mm -hmm. I had to try a pork chop because of Thailand. I'll, I'll eat some of that. Good. Because <laughs> now that I'm getting a talk. Oh, I crushes. have a pork chop. For how long? Just long enough to get this <laughs> stuff in here. Some jalapeno. Gracias, amiga. A hot spell. So that's plate. lunch, it looks good. I feel like your Yucatan one's gonna be the best. It's got potatoes and um, different veggies in it. I thought that was a scallop. Oh, maybe. I thought she said pescado. No, that's a. No. It's two porks, one chicken. Oh, but one's Yucatan one's style. One's Yucatan style, that's the one with veggies in it. Did you get what kind of soup's that one? Lentil. Lentil. Lots of stuff in it. We had three options for tacos. There was one pollo, chicken, and two pork. I've already forgot what that is in Spanish. But anyway, the, the two most flavorful were definitely the pork. The chicken was a bit dry. You're gonna want some salsa on that one. The Yucatan pork ones are pretty good. They got potato in them, and some white carrot, and some other things. It's uh, pretty tasty though. First time we've seen tacos here at the resort, so that's promising. No. What are we on the floor? Fiesta, Mexican fiesta. Oh, we did have a fiesta. That was good. Supper time. So we had a couple of the suppers at the buffet recorded, but uh, we lost the GoPro with the card in it, and that was on that. So we're going to skip that and go right to the Mexican Fiesta the theme night that they had. It was probably the best food of the week. If you're staying at this resort, they had it on Saturday when we were there. If you like Mexican food, you really need to check it out. At this table, they had a whole bunch of different fruit, uh, pasta salads, different kinds of salads, vegetables, and cheese platters. This table was full of different breads and stuff. He's got tortilla soup there, some fixings and stuff. They go buy a plate of rice. <laughs> stuff to put on the rice. I don't know what that is, but it was delicious. It was some kind of beef dish. Potatoes and chorizo. Chicken on salsa verde. Pescado. La Veracruza. Actually, that was really good. I don't eat a lot of fish, but that was tasty. That's chicken. That was also really good. This is a panchita pork stew. Had that on uh, like a taco kind of. That was really tender. Really good. Esquite. You should take that. Put that stuff on it. It's delicious. By the way, that was just corn. Sweet corn, not in season where we're from. We got some baked potatoes. This is plantain or yeah, it's just plantains. More potatoes. Got some sausage and some pork. 
Bitcoin brisket. They also have brisket. And that's some uh, charred jalapenos and some cactus. That was also tasty. And you've got, you can make your own tostadas here. Those are actually so paste. Some beans. Kind of like a stew. Then you get some sour cream. Salad. Get some peppers. Green sauce. That is hot. Tacos and some cheese. So that's about it. Although we didn't eat any, they did have a dessert table. We came down here pretty late, so they're starting to run out of some things here. I'm not sure if they'd fill them back up at that point. The food was delicious. I had way too much of it. I took a plate that was big enough for two people. Probably ate three quarters of it. I felt kind of like a douchebag leaving that food there, but wow, a lot of taste. It was really good. This is once a week here at this resort at Crystal Vallarta. It's a Mexican night. It's a fiesta. It was pretty good. They also had a live band here and dancing if you're into that. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, throw it a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And leave a comment or if you have any questions, you can get us on our social media. That's linked in the description. We hope to hear from you. Until the next time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pump the brakes. I almost forgot to give you your two tips. It is an all-inclusive with a lot of different food options at each meal. So, like, if you're going to go to the Mexican Fiesta, try not to have tacos that day, maybe. And maybe eat Mexican one day, maybe eat Italian another day, and spread it out so it doesn't seem to repeat so often. And the second tip's going to help you get a drink, a better drink, a lot faster. And this is the other bar I was talking about. It's not open till noon, I don't think. But once it is, there's hardly anyone there. It, it, yeah, he's there now, so it's, it's much better than going down to the other one. It's just so much quicker. Here at the uh, beach bar, uh, this place Crystal Vallarta. This is Leono, he's uh, the bartender. He makes a mean Paloma. Um, Karen's pretty picky and she likes his drinks. I have another Caesar that we made with the lime. And, but uh, if you want a good drink, I would suggest you come to this bar, not the main bar. You're gonna wait a lot less time. And his drinks are really good. Uh, we've had a lot of variation at the other bar, so um, we're coming here. I like you do that thing with the lime that you did last he time. He did it already. Oh, did he? Oh, I missed it. See? All right. <laughs>